Well, how do that, chums? As I, Captain of the Steers, and today, chums, for you guys out there in the viewerverse, I'm hitting up Starborn Part 2. I've never played Part 1. <laughs> and I've got myself a cup of tea, and I've also got myself some Pop Tarts. You probably saw me holding them up at the start. Yes, breakfast with Captain Steve. We've gone the full freaking hog, mate. So, yeah. I'm probably going to be eating those in between doing stuff. It's like, when I had done the first impressions of this game, I didn't bother making a proper character, which I'm going to be doing. So, yeah, let me just turn down that PC audio just a little bit. There we go, because I know this has got pretty triumphant music at the start. Right, people, well, I'm going to jump on over into a PC game, and uh, I'm going to hit this up. If you didn't see my first impressions, I will put a video up here. You can go click that, and that's pretty darn cool. Right, here we go. So in my first impressions video, peeps, what I was trying to do was trying to do the most exciting of missions. Um, this time, I don't think I'm going to do that. Um, no, we're going to do a new game. I'm going to try and do the most mundane, boring mission there probably is. Um, we'll give it a go. We'll see if that's even possible, shall we, people? Let me just uh, turn off the old Winamp. So we've just got the in-game music over here. Right, so, I'm going to do exactly what I did before with my character stats, though. Yeah, I'm going to put a few into each. There we are. Uh, ba -da -ba -da. Make them pretty much all round. Hopefully we get to change this out at some point. The only one that I'm not going to be doing all the way up to the top is the alertness. We're going to put that at nine. Maybe I might do that on the next one. But there we go. We're all good. So, background. Last time I chose captain, I'm going to choose, I'm going to choose captain again. Yeah, because I am Captain Steve. Appearance, this is where I'm going to cut for a second, people. And I'll be right back with you after I've made him look pretty darn freaking gnarly. Hey, you reconvened. I've had one of my Pop-Tarts and I've already got a couple of bites left. And I've made my character with the mouse while I was doing that. And I think he looks okay. I mean, I don't know what's going on with his bottom lip right there, but very odd. And also, there's no beard choices. Anyway, let's hit on up into name. And yeah, I'm just going to call him Captain Steve. Captain Steve. Undily done. Accept a mondo. And start. Sweet. Right, well, I've appeared in game. Oh, I've got my cup there. But look, it's got the coaster bloody stuck to it. What the fudge was that all about? All right, fine. Let's have a little sip. How's he looking game? Yeah, it's not too bad. Apart from he just faces the opposite way all the bloody time. Right, well, I've had a couple of sips of that. Now, we already know what we've got to do here anyway. So she radios me, asking about her rent. We go sort out her rent for her. Yeah, I've activated my freaking gravity pack. Yeah, <laughs> because I know what I'm doing now anyway. There we go. Bum, bum, bum. Run like the wind. Why is he not running? Okay, fine. I'm not too sure what the run button. Oh, there we go. There's the run button. Oh, got a torch as well. I expected that to jump. Oh, there's the jump button. All right. So before I played on the keyboard because I didn't have a working joypad. So this is a whole new adventure for me. All right. Fine. fine. Let's get up here. Let's go talk to the lady with the blue rinse who's going to ask me for the rent. Now, what I did here was say to her, no, I want to do something good. This time, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to go for whatever. Um, can I bring the mouse cursor in? Let's have a look. I know. Yeah, well, I, 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 I'm just going to use the mouse for this bit. Okay. It's been four minutes. I know. As soon as I can get there. I, as soon as I get the money. I'd rather not do main... Okay. I'll do, do this. Oh, there we go. It says press B, but on my joypad, you can quite clearly say that. that that's an A, isn't it? No, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so I have no idea which button's which is where I'm going with this. Um, yeah. So I'm just going to say, okay, I'll bet that. Nice one. Whatever. Cool. Let's go. Unlike the wind. Oh, yeah, it's this button. Yeah, Like a ninja. I don't jump. I press jump at the wrong point. Now, I would say this joypad is rather clicky. You can kind of hear me doing the button presses, which isn't exactly the most amazing of joypads, is it? So I did a review of this joypad. I didn't say how clicky it was. It's clicky. It's freaking clicky. Okay, right. Oh, yeah. Let's have a look. I want to do the most mundane job possible, please. Yeah. Um, press space. I don't know what's going on there. It's going off all over the place. Nope. 
As a matter of fact, I'm looking for a pilot. Yes, that sounds perfect. I'll, I'll take that mission. I'll have that mission, please. Um, I'm going to go for that one. Just give me the mission. I'll, I'll, just have, I'll have that mission. I'll have that mission. Okay, fine. It looks like we can't actually take that old lady on a freaking mission. It looks like you kind of get forced into doing the mission that's the first mission, which is, it is kind of understandable, I suppose, isn't it? All right, let's go to my ship. I know where my ship is, and I know that it's a hunk of freaking junk. But that kind of adds to the charm of the game, because you think, well, everybody thinks my, my ship is cack, and I'm the underdog. And it kind of makes you want to go and get yourself a better ship. Now, I haven't watched too much of this game. I've watched Obsidian Ant's review, which got me very excited to pick up and play this, and I'm glad I did, because it's actually really quite good. I've done my first impressions video. I gave you the link earlier. Go check that out. But, uh, yeah, it's... um. It's an interesting game, to be fair. It, it's pretty darn cool. Why is my stamina depleting so bleak? Oh, because I'm not letting it recharge all the way. That ship, you see that one? That looks quite nice, doesn't it? I'm wondering when, like, how far in you have to get before you get to the shipyard. Before you can actually unlock a new ship. That's quite cool. This is my ship here. This little ship over there looks really cool. But last time I tried to get to it, it, it took off before I could get there, just like it did there. I love the little robots sort of like coaxing them in as well. I didn't notice that last time. All right, well, let's get in my ship then, and uh, we'll be taking off. I want to see if when I take off, where far, I can sort of just uh, hover inside, well, fly over the planet a little bit. Because before, I just tried to fly up through the atmosphere, up where the air was clear. Holy fudge. Okay. Um, right, well, I have adjusted my controls, but they are rather twitchy. Are they inverted? Is it up to go down? And down to go up. It is. I think I might change that, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, let's go into settings quickly. Settings, and let's um, let's have the inputs on gamepad, and let's uh, hit that. There we are. So I've, I've inverted it. So up is up now. No, it's not. Balls. Um, that's weird. Okay, uh, that has made no difference. <laughs> let's go back in there. Let's just take that. Oh. It didn't save. How do you how do you freaking apply this settings then, people? How do you how do you apply those settings? All right. Um. I guess save then. Yeah. Overwrite that. Overwrite that. That's fine. Okay. No, nope, it's still inverted. Balls to that then. Um. I'm okay. just gonna have to get just the alt button. All right. Cool. And um, now I'm flying. Okay. Brilliant. I've managed to work out the controls now, people. Down goes down and up goes up. And now I can fly over this city. Lovely. All right. Accelerate. Boom. Go faster. How do I go faster? Oh, no, that goes down. That's your right. That's your left. Okay. Well, I guess that's about as fast as I can go at the moment, then, is it? That's, that's not very fast, is it? All right, fine. Let's just head on up into the sky, then. But it looks like you can sort of traverse the planet a little bit and have a little look around. Cool. Oh, there we go. That's the go button, isn't it? Yeah, you press the hat stand in. Let's go over the landscape for a bit. Let's go around this big giant sort of statue type looking mountain here. It looks like a lady sitting in the freaking desert, doesn't it? That's pretty cool. Pretty sinister, actually. It looks like it's got some sort of skull face there, doesn't it? Pretty darn freaking cool. Anyway, I digress. We're going to go up into the atmosphere then. And hopefully press on with this mission. Now, although that I've dialed the controller in, um, it's still a little bit twitchy. It's very, very responsive. I've, I've played with this. Okay, here we go. Okay, I'm doing that. Oh, there we go. We just took a bit of a delay. Let's have a little sip on the tea. Right there. I'm in space, mate. I'm in freaking space. Okay, open. Okay, so we still have to use keyboard for some things. All right, fine. I've already done this in the tutorial, so I know how to do this. So T. I'm going to use the mouse for this. I can use the mouse, okay. It's just the keyboard that I can't really use. So left mouse button onto there. Now that that's done, press T. I just have to hold down the um, boost button. Oh, no, I have to actually lock onto it, don't I? So lock onto it over here. Oh, that is very twitchy, isn't it? Okay, cool. Um, yeah, stop rocking up and down. Stop it. Stop it. Hold on. Yep. Ah. 
Fudge and heck, that's really twitchy. There we go. Got ya. Sort of. Yes. There we go. This is going to be fun in freaking combat, mate. Okay, let's do this. Yep, I'm holding down. Waiting for charge. Right. Engine status. There you go. It's going up to 100%. Nearly there. Boom. Right. Another mouthful of tea. Yummy, yummy, yum, yum. Mm. Right, let's just hope that when I get into combat, I'm able to hold my own. Because that does sort of drift a lot. I don't know whether I can stabilise the axis after afterwards. Hello, I'm here to do the mission. Yeah, my ship's not that. It's not that. It's not that, mate. Yeah, don't don't bother looking. Don't get me wrong. I'm not sure you can complete this task with this... Not 100% sure, no. <laughs> Give us some targets and I'll, I'll have a go. Don't rush. Let's make sure the ship is in good condition first. Shall okay, we? people. Yeah, well, I've fine-tuned my joypad. Just in case you want to see what settings I've got on mine, I've gone for this. So axis speed of 1.5, axis stall speed of 17. I might adjust that to a 15, to be honest. So it's right bang in the freaking middle. If I can, which I can't get it, 15.1. Okay, and axis acceleration, 30. I think that would do the trick. I hope. So let's see how I get on against this fighter. Okay, can I lock on? I have locked on. Can use that to deplete his shield. Okay, this is about as good as I'm going to get, I think. And I know it's not turning as quick as I would like, but otherwise I'm going to make myself poorly. This game is far easier to play with the keyboard and the mouse, but my keyboard is such a way away because I'm not I'm not really set it up for keyboard play. And I'm only using this joypad. Okay, how do I change to group one again? Oh yeah, L1. Okay, now you're in trouble, my friend. Where's he gone? As soon as I get back on you again, because you have no shields. I can then just use my little photon cannons to take you out now, mate. If I can get on you. Pow. Take that. Take that, you roused about. I, I, I thought I had. Oh, now I have. Now I've locked on. Cool. Hold the game pad left trigger while locked on to... Oh, okay. Alright, fine. Use your pursuit system. Let's try again. Don't destroy it. Use your pursuit system. Oh, okay. Oh, damn. Have I got to do that again, then? Yes, that'll teach ya! Freaking git! Whew. Okay, right. Where's that scout ship? New objective. Destroy a station. This is the first mission! The first mission! Not the last! Taking me up against a bloody space station. Are you having a laugh? All right, fine. Well, we're going. We're going to go do this, some people. Space station, here we come. You're in trouble now, space station. When I get there in three days. They set up a secret base here. <laughs> Love that voice. They shouldn't notice you, or they can destroy everything, including you. Okay. All right. Let's try and get closer then. Meow. Here I come. I'm there. Oh, fudge. Now what? Okay. D-pad R and face button left. Left. Oh, I've got a cloaking device. Holy fudge, that's cool. All right. Okay, it's like something out of Predator. Like a ship made of glass. Where have I got to go to, mate? Okay. Okay. Hide your ship. It's not really that hidden there, my friend. Are you sure about this? All right. Okay. I trust you. Hundred percent trust. And okay. Eject from your ship. D-pad up on the quick menu. Okay. I guess it's the one that's got a little spaceman on it. Who oh, shite? Yes, it is. Okay. Okay, how do I go faster? 
I think that's about the same street as I can go. Okay, we're heading over here. There's a weapon over here. Cool. Well, this is pretty darn freaking epic, isn't it? Jumping out of your ship like that. There you go. Let's activate my ground boots. Boom. Take weapon. Where is it then? I don't bloody see it. Is it just floating in the air? No. Oh, it's on this box. Alright. Boom. We've got a weapon. Is that another weapon there? I think it is, mate. I'm having that too. I'm having both weapons. Alright. How do I um, change weapon? Okay. Um, I will have this one. I think I'm going to have to reselect that weapon when I land, aren't I? Right in the open. Yeah, this this isn't very stealthy. That one, please. Hello. Don't mind me. I'm just going to shoot you to death. Oh, I got something for free. Headshot. Oh, you're a little, you're a little sneaky sneak. Took cover, did you? No, you didn't. There was cover right there. You didn't opt for it, though, mate. Have that. Can I loot the bodies? Can I loot them, or does it just jump straight into me? I don't know. What, I don't know what that's all about. All right, cool. Well, we've got them. Ha ha! Run, dilly, run. Dilly, 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 dilly. Oh, yeah, right. Let's uh, jump up into here then. Okay, that just turns the torch on, doesn't it? There's the jump button. Go on. Go on, you know you want to. All right, let's use our jetpack. Okay, mate. How do I get my gun back out quickly? I'm pressing all the bloody buttons. Got a torch. <laughs> you have to go on the radio menu every, every single time. You want to freaking get your gun out. Seriously, there must be a quicker button to press on that. Oh, okay. Nice. I thought there'd be somebody in here. Freaking have it, mate. Oh. Loot all. Thank you very much. We'll have this as well. Thank you. Objective clear. Now, it does seem to have the same loot music over and over. And it's quite an abrupt cut as well. <laughs> that, that needs to be improved. But, you know, this is beta. To be honest, now, I gave, gave a first impression, but I didn't do the whole first mission. So perhaps I should have given it a little bit longer before I gave it a, a proper first impression to go. But you know what? I think, this, I think it was fair. It's actually really good bloody fun. Come on, then. Holy fudge. I didn't realise I could just hold the button down. I think someone just threw a grenade. I'll get back a bit. Come on then. Is that one dead? Yes. Okay. That one isn't. She got a bit too close to comfort, that one. The actual models are actually pretty cool, actually. Oh, fudge. There's another grenade. I'm in a prone position now. Does that help with balance or anything? Reload. Boom. Gotcha, she gets. Okay, well, did I miss something here? Why to interact? There's something around here for me to pick up, but I can't see what. Alright, fine. How many of them are there? Freaking take that, Abe's Odyssey wannabe. Okay. I think we're good. I think we've killed them all. Can't I just nick their ship? Sent a bomber? Holy fudge, seriously? Alright, well, we're gonna fly then. Oh, no, no. Gravity boots. They're going towards my ship. Don't you blow up my ship, you freaking gits. Okay. Holy fudge. This is mental. My, my actual heart is beating a lot faster right now, people. They sent a bomber. This is the first mission. First. First mission. Oh, man. The whole sort of escorting the old lady across the universe doesn't sound too bad now, does it? Right. Get back in. Get back in. Get in your ship. Get in. 
Oh, imagine it. Get out of there. Shum. Just get away. Just get away. Okay, I guess we're going to have to take these guys out. Let's get rid of his shield. I've actually got some rockets, haven't I? So as soon as I get rid of his shields, I'm going to use these rockets. We're going to see what damage the rockets do. Oh, fudge off, you git bag. Where is he? Ah, yeah. There he is. Sod it. I'm gonna I'm gonna straighten up and I'm gonna just launch a missile at him anyway, whether he's got shields or not. We're gonna see what it freaking does. Where is he? As soon as I manage to get him. Oh, he's got missile lock on me, has he? Oh, freaking great. Yeah, um, yeah. Dodge, dodge that, mate. Freaking have that. Yeah. Um. How do you like it? Let's fire a missile at you. Oh, okay. I need to be on the other group, I think. There you go. Did that get him? Oh, I think that did. I think he's lost a little bit of health. Let's fire and forget that missile, I guess. Right, okay. Gotcha! At last! That didn't take half an hour. Freaking get! Pod? What's that then? I'd have that. Thank you very much. How do I get it? How do I get the pod? I wanted it, but um, I guess I'm not going to get it then. Oh, I blew it up! I think that was maybe his escape pod. Well, you're dead now. Okay, right, we're going there then. Okay, cool. I thought it was a free... I thought it was loot. I thought I could loot it, but no, it was just a, an extra bit of gittery, wasn't it? You can just kill him. Right, you see those things down at the bottom? You've got shield, you've got turret, you've got something else. Can I change them? Ah, hold on. Oh no, that's it, that's cloak. I guess, oh there we go. Aha. So was that my engines? Can I now fly faster? Please say I can fly faster. I think that's fly faster. So I've put more power into the engines now, people. Yes, that seems to be a bit faster. That's handy. Apart from I don't know how I bloody did that. Okay. Yeah. And I think we've got to come round this side of it. Where it, yes, it's got it's got more stickers on this side, hasn't it? It's got more textures. Okay. And I'm not too sure how you slowed the ship down. Let's go around this way. All right. Okay. And then landing gear N. Okay, get above it, and then, yep, about there. And if I use this button, it should lower me down. Boom! Freaking did it, mate! Freaking, who's the boss of that? Okay. Heck yes! I mean, that's right by the freaking door. Couldn't get any closer if I tried. Brilliant! Okay, right, well, we're in. Now, I think this is the end of the first mission, so I should be ending this video, but let's go and have a look at this Axa guy is. Is that him? Warp with us. Join the army today. Okay, brilliant. All right, fine. Um, ba -dum -ba -dum. There he is. He does look like the poster child, doesn't he? All right, fine. Well, I guess I'm going to interact with him, and hopefully it's going to auto-save or something. Now, any criminal will have to think twice before attempting to steal from us. I'm going to transfer the money to your account. Thank you. Hey, thanks. I just noted that robot head on the table over there. What's the story behind it? Where? Where's a... Where have you seen this robot head? I don't see fudging nothing, mate. Nothing. Okay. Yeah, I'm just blind you with my torch. This old thing. It's an old piece of junk I found in the remnants of an old battlefield. Come to think of it. I'm going to use the mouse because I don't know what button's which. No, it just looks oddly familiar. Since you're not using it, would you consider selling it to me? There we go. I'm not really interested in it. I have no idea. I can't bloody see it. I don't know. How much was you going to pay me? How, what, am I, what am I agreeing to here? Alright, fine. Alright, stop it. All right, I have no idea what's going on now. I've already mentioned where I found it. As for more parts, I could find none. 
But then again, I didn't stick around there too long. It's not exactly the safest of places. All right. But it looks like he's given us another mission, interacting with this guy, people in the viewerverse. Um, so it looks like we're going to go get some more robot parts, but we're also going to be doing another mission. So I'm going to be ending off in a second. I'm just going to get through this. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Can you help me? Well, you're in luck. I'm in a good mood today. All right, cool. Lovely. Let's do this then, my friend. Mission started. Rebuilding a friend. Okay, rebuilding a friend. I guess I'm rebuilding the robot yeah, then. The look at me, looking me. awesome. Well, yeah, I don't look much different than from the character model in the start. There's no beards or anything. I've done the sticky out ears, but that's about all I could blink and do. Okay, all right, cool. Um, lovely jubbly, mate. It sounds great. Do it. Okay, people. Well, this is pretty much where I'm going to end off. I just need to work out whether I can save my game. So save. And I hit there. Overwrite. Did I actually save it? It's it's hard to say, isn't it? Save. Click that. I could put it there. No, I just overwrite it there. There you go, people. Well, that's that's that pretty much, isn't it? Uh, so come out of here. You know, let's quit out of there, and I go back to me. Boom. Right, people. Well, I I I kind of feel that that's a good sort of segue to end off, anyway, people. And I thoroughly enjoyed that. That was really good fun. It is a bit janky. I'm not going to lie, it's a bit janky, but you know what, I think that kind of adds to the charm. And knowing that it's only made by one person, I think it's well worth jumping in and taking a look. Well, that was first mission, first mission, and that was adrenaline pumping crazy stuff. So God knows what else this game is going to throw at me, but it's, it's probably going to be just as equally as crazy, if not more crazy. Anyway, I drank my tea, that's gone. I'm going to go make myself a fresh brew, and um, I hope you're having a great time out there in the view of us. Let me know if you like this game by hitting a like, subscribe, notification bell, add a comment or something. Let us know if you're playing this. Until next time, goodbye, goodbye, and goodbye again.